Rahim Rahim. My name is Nur Asya Binti Hamza and my group will present about coral reef. According to the Wikipedia, a coral reef is an underwater ecosystem that characterized by reef building coral. According to the website that written by the School of Biological Science has stated that our country, which is Malaysia, have a sea that known as one of the richest marine biodiversity. The climate change contribute the coral bleaching in our coral reef. The pollution from the factory during the rapid development in our country also contribute to the warm earth and changes in water temperature as little as 2 degrees of Fahrenheit that can cause the coral to drive out the algae. How the coral bleaching occur? In the coral, there is an algae named zooxanthellae. The coral get the nutrient from the zooxanthellae through photosynthesis. In exchange, the coral supplies carbon dioxide and ammonia to the zooxanthellae. This relationship called symbiotic relationship because both of them get the benefit. When the temperature of water is too warm, the coral will expel the algae that living in their tissue and completely turn into white. This is what we call coral bleaching. However, the coral still can survive with coral bleaching, but it will die if the water temperature did not back to the normal again. What is the causes of coral bleaching? First, climate change. The water temperature rises often as a result of climate change that triggered by the wave and then turn the coral into white. In 2010, Malaysia facing the biggest loss of its coral reef population. It was a big El Nino that caused 30% of coral reef in Malaysia to be bleached. Second, human pollution. Human activities can cause a harmful impact to the coral reef such as agriculture pesticide that flowing into the river and the industry waste water discharge into the sea that contribute the sedimentation. The high sedimentation can cause a high turbidity in water that lead to the low penetration of sunlight. So the zooxanthellate cannot be photosynthesis and the coral will die because it cannot get the nutrients. The pollution from the factory that produce many carbon dioxide also can increase the earth temperature. The increase in earth temperature can give a high opportunity to the coral to have coral bleaching. What is the impact of coral bleaching? Many island and coastal population depend on coral reef for nutrition, fisheries and tourism income. So, coral bleaching may result in significant social and economic impact such as it will disturb the food web in the marine ecosystem. Other than that, the community of fishes also will decrease in the sea as they are caught easily by fishermen because the fish do not have shelter to hide. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noor Ashana Demiti Pauzi and I will present about the data of coral reef in Malaysia. This data I get from the Reef Check Malaysia where it shows the status of coral reef in key ecoregion in Malaysia in 2018. Okay, the data is an overview of the health of coral reef survey in three ecoregion in Malaysia by using live coral cover as a key indicator. Okay, in Sunda Shelf, a total of 10 coral reef sites were surveyed in Pohentian and 50% of the reef were in fair condition where the 20% were in good condition and the remaining 30% were in poor condition. A total of 12 coral reef sites were surveyed in Redown where 50% of the sites were in fair condition, 8% were in good condition and the remaining 42% in poor condition. Total of 18 coral reef sites were surveyed in Jerman and 39% of the reef were in excellent condition, 33% were in good condition while the remaining 28% were in fair condition. A total of 5 coral reef sites were surveyed in Kapas where 60% of the reef were in good condition while the 30% were in fair condition. A total of 6 coral reef sites were surveyed in Bidong and Yu where 50% of the reef were in fair condition and the remaining 60% were in excellent condition. 70% in a good condition and the other 70% in a poor condition. A total of 6 coral reef sites were surveyed in Tango and 17 of the reef were in excellent condition, 33% of the site were in good condition, 33% in fair condition, while remaining 70% were in poor condition. 
A total of four quarry sites were surveyed in Pemanggil and 50% of the reef were in good condition and remaining 50% were in fair condition. None reef were in excellent or poor condition. A total of four coral reef sites were surveyed in Tinggi and 75% of the reef were in good condition and remaining 25% were in fair condition. A total of six coral reef sites were surveyed in Cebu Island where 67 of the reef were in good condition and 33% were in fair condition. A total of six coral reef sites were surveyed in Pulau Aur and Dayang where 50% of the reef were in fair condition, 33% were in good condition and remaining 70% in poor condition. Total of six coral reef sites were surveyed in Miri, where 67 of the sites were in good condition, and remaining 33% were in fair condition. Based on the data, Tinggi Island have the best condition of coral reef, while the Redang Island have the worst condition of the coral reef in Sunda Shelf. However, the 2019 review of health of coral reef around Malaysia indicate that generally in fair condition. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Atiyah binti Abu Sama Now I will explain about how our government and how our society trying to manage the problem of coral bleaching in our marine ecosystem Due to the climate change and ocean warming our coral reef are dead and experience coral bleaching Malaysia's response to manage the coral bleaching is by the development of the bio rock to stimulate the growth of artificial reef According to the Malaysian Nature Society, Bio-Rock is a low-voltage electricity which submerged on a metal structure and it has been placed in the Tioman Island to stimulate the growth of artificial reef. The principle of electrolysis which the chemical reaction is occur due to the electric current has been applied on the Bio-Rock which the electricity can interact with the natural mineral in the sea water which form the solid limestone to grow up on the bio rock structure. By having this kind of innovative, the other fragment from coral reef can be translocated to the bio rock structure, which they can grow up due to the natural mineral crystal that will form. The bio rock structure is help to speed up the normal process of the coral reef growth. Another initiative was made up by Care Lazary Hotels and Resort by replanting a certain type of coral reef in the water around the Tunamaya Beach and Spa Resort on the Tioman Island. The volunteer that involved in this project designed a frame in a bit to replanting a certain type of coral reef as a sustainable solution to treat faster under an adverse solution. This project aims to protect and preserve our coral reef by rehabilitating and restoring the coral reef and to educate the guests on ways to protect our diverse marine ecosystem. Last but not least, the decommissioning of the offshore platform as an artificial reef known as Reef to Reef was reused to serve the underwater marine ecosystem as the artificial reef. The rigs to reef, known as Baram 8, which located 8 nautical miles from the Tanjung Baram Miri. The article also reported that a large group of marine communities such as juvenile benefish, anglefish, batfish and coral trout are found in the lower part of the structure. The large group of marine habitat that was found in the early stage of the Baram Egg is a good indicator as a sustainable solution of an artificial reef. That's all from us. We hope that our video will help to spread the awareness about the problem of coral reef such as coral bleaching in our country. Thank you for watching.